Here's your latest headlines with Sierra Tufts from the Wayne.com studio. Good afternoon. Let's see here. We are getting you a look at your afternoon headlines for Friday, May 17th. Hicksville Community Memorial Hospital announced on Facebook that it's closing, and it's closing soon. Previously, hospital administrators announced that they are having financial difficulties. Late Thursday night, the hospital posted on Facebook it would be closing on Sunday. Back in January, the CEO announced that the hospital was having financial hardships due to electronic medical records conversions lost the hospital lost six months of revenue due to this and back in January the CEO announced that there would be a 50 50 chance the hospital would survive Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control is in need of fosters for kittens. It currently has a record-breaking number of kittens in its facility. Currently, 64 families are caring for nearly 280 cats and kittens. Fostering is free. The shelter does provide food, supplies, and medical needs. You can learn how to become a foster in this story right now on Wayne.com. In 11 counties in Northeast Indiana in 2020, and the New Allen Alliance murals as part of same shape, they will be decorated uh, by mural. We are also pointing to the experience noted so that they last longer, and we anticipate that these will be do 200 acts of kindness before the bicentennial bash in November. Also, the the committee gave an update on a sculpture project. There will be 15 different sculptures around the county and also an update on the time capsule project where students will be asked, what does Allen County mean to them? You can learn more about all the updates and everything that's being celebrated with the Bicentennial right now on Wayne.com. And coming up today, we do have crews over in Hicksville to try and learn more about this hospital closure. Plus, the Fort Wayne Police Department is conducting a blitz today. We'll have have more on what they're looking for and what is being done. Plus, There we go. Sorry about the freeze. Plus, INM is naming the Peregrine Falcon chicks on top of the INM building. We'll have those names. Fingers crossed for Wayne or W A N E. All right, let's go ahead and take a those look at those weather headlines. We are seeing some showers throughout the day. We will be staying warm, though, and it is going to be a beautiful weekend. Give me a look at Storm Tracker right now. That storm system, or I shouldn't say storm system, rain system that came through the area overnight is still lingering out there. You can see it's giving us a decent amount of cloud cover, but we could see some sunshine as we head into the later parts of the afternoon. A shower could potentially pop up here or there. No widespread rain by any means means though looking at our temperatures though we are going to reach the upper 70s today calm winds so not too bad for us so you can see over in Parkview Field that cloud cover is still sticking around so it looks gloomy but it's actually pretty nice out uh, tin caps are in town tonight so make sure you look out for them and go tin caps looking at your exclusive 10-day forecast we have a chance to see those showers continue throughout the day but again looking at that weekend it is absolutely beautiful temperatures in the lower 80s in mid 80s on Sunday, a little bit of sunshine for us, and that continues into Monday for the start of the work week. Our next system we're keeping an eye on starts on Tuesday into Wednesday. It's bringing a cold front along with that, dipping our temperatures into the mid 70s. So we'll be keeping an eye on that a little too far out to see if it's going to be anything severe at this point. Keep you updated as we get closer to Tuesday and Wednesday. In the meantime, we'll see you back here at 4 p.m. We'll also see you at first at 5, news at 6, and next cast at 11. In the meantime, have a good afternoon.